Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna see how we can convert an OSD file to a PST file in Windows 11. And for this video, we're gonna use a tool that will allow us to make this conversion really easily. It is a tool trusted by Microsoft MVPs and IT admins, and it can convert large sized OSD files. It can auto locate and list all the available Outlook profiles automatically. And of course, you can migrate offline OSD files to Microsoft 365 or Office 365. So in this video, we're talking about Stellar Converter for OST, which you can get from their official website. More info will be in the description below. The installation process is really simple. You just have to select the language, click on next, accept the terms, select the location, the name, and install. As easy as that. And now we have the app installed. I'm going to click on finish. And also, as you can see, I have an OST file on my desktop, which we're going to use in this video to convert to a PST file, which we'll later on be able to use inside an app in Windows, such as Outlook and so on. So let's open up Stellar converter for OST. When you open up the app for the first time, it will look something like this. It has a pretty similar interface with the Outlook app. And here we can list profiles or choose manually. If you've used OST files before or PST files, you could find a profile which will basically allow you to select the Outlook data for conversion. In my case, I don't. So I'm just going to go to choose mailbox manually. And here you can select the location, you can manually search for the location, or you can click on find and select a location where you want this app to locate an OSD file. In this case, I'm just going to click on browse and then select from my desktop the OSD file that I have here. And then I'm going to click on convert. The software will then analyze the selected file and will easily provide me with the contents of the file and the converted file as well. After this conversion process is finished, we can simply just save the converted file and we would be good to go. We would be able to use it inside Outlook and other apps. So as you can see, the selected file has been converted. You can click on the save converted file button to save the converted PST file. As you can see, we have here the mail, we have the contents, which you can, of course, see here. You can check everything if everything is converted successfully. So I think the software did a pretty good job. The software can also help you with various different problems. For example, it can help you recover or search for missing PST files and also resolve certain OST files, synchronization errors and so on. But of course, the focus of this video was how to convert an OST file to PST. And this is how easily you can do that. Now, after you've checked everything and you saw that everything is good and you're happy with the results, of course, you can just click on save converted file from the top menu. And of course, you're going to have the option to select multiple formats. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that if you only have the new Outlook app from Windows 11, you won't be able to save the converted file because the app requires you to have the office suit. So you need to have the classic Outlook app, which is basically the Outlook app from Office. For example, I have here Office 2016 installed with the classic Outlook app, and this is how I'm able to save the converted file. So if you only have the new Outlook app from Windows 11 or Windows 10, they're also going to need to have Office installed alongside with the classic Outlook app. Now we're going to select PST and then click on next, and we're going to have to select the destination path. I'm just going to select desktop in this case, click on OK. And you also have the options to recover deleted files, and also auto split PST file. In my case, I'm going to uncheck both of these options because I do not need to recover deleted items or split the PST files. You also have the option to apply advanced filters. If you want, you can include the junk email folder, include deleted items, date range. For example, you can select a date range if you don't need all the emails and so on. And you can also select sender IDs that you want to be excluded. You can add them to list and so on. I'm not going to change any settings here. I'm just going to click on OK and the saving process will start. You just have to wait. Of course, depending on how large your database is, the process process will take longer or will be finished sooner. So just wait a few minutes. Most likely within five minutes, you should have your PST file successfully saved from Stellar. In this case, it will be finished way sooner because the file size is really, really small. As you can see, the converted file size is 2019 megabytes and we can click on OK. Now we can exit out from the Stellar converter for OST app. Not going to save the scan. And as you can see, we have here our converted PST file. We can use this converted PST file to log in into Outlook and import all the emails, data, contact, and so on into an email account. So I'm also going to show you how you can do that. Just to open up the classic Outlook app. We're going to connect to an account. Of course, you need to connect to a real account. After you successfully set up Outlook, all you need to do is to go to file and then open and export, import slash export. You can import from another program or file. Click on next. You have to select Outlook data file or .pst and then click on next. And then we're going to go on browse and get our file, which is this file that we converted. 
click on open and then click on next and then finish. And then you're just gonna have to wait a few seconds or minutes depending on how large your database is. You should see all your data, emails, contacts, all imported into Outlook. This is how easily you can do that. So if you want to learn more about this software that we've talked about in this video, you can check out the links below in the video description. And of course, make sure to check the software for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. How's your money on TechBase? Until next time, have a nice day.